Today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad on the latest 4.3.2 firmware. Uh, so before we begin, there are a few things I do want to mention. This is a little bit more complicated than usual. However, uh, I will definitely be here to walk you guys through it. Uh, so first of all, we are going to be using Red Snow, the latest version. And now this is available for both Windows and Mac. Obviously, I'm going to be giving you guys the tutorial using Windows 7. However, this will work the exact same way with one small exception on the uh, Mac OS. And I'll show you guys exactly what all I mean in just one second. Uh, now, there are a couple of other things I do want to mention. Uh, for one, this is going to support most of the devices on 4.3.2. And it, of course, is going to be an untethered jailbreak, which is what we want. There's a previous version that was tethered, however this is fully untethered, meaning you can turn off your device as much as you like without any issues. Um, so this supports the iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, the iPod Touch 4th generation, and the iPad 1. This does not support the iPad 2 for the time being. It also does not currently support the iPhone 4. Uh, now, the iPhone 4 bit is a little bit of a uh, of a little bit of a problem. However, that will be probably changing in the next day or so. So definitely keep an eye out on the screen. I'll put an annotation up as soon as iPhone 4 is good to go. Uh, so to do the jailbreak, we're going to need two things. We're going to need the Red Snow file, uh, obviously the jailbreak. I'll have that in the link in the description. You can download it from there. And I'll also have the. You also need the 4.3.2 IPSW. I'll have another link in the description. Uh, there's a good chance that you might already have it on your computer if you already updated to 4.3.2. Uh, so if you have that, it's no big deal. Otherwise, I'll have also have a download. So just hit up the link in the description for that. Now, if you are on Windows Vista or Windows 7, you're going to have one additional step. If you're on Windows XP or any version of Mac, you can skip this bit. So you need to come up to the Red Snow file, or right-click it, and come down to Properties. Now, you need to come over to the Compatibility tab and click Run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. Now, if Service Pack 3 is not available, uh, feel free to try something else, something like Windows XP or Windows 2000, something like that. It should work. Uh, but again, if you're only on Vista and 7, if you're on Windows XP or something earlier, no big deal. Now, after you've done that, come down to the privilege level and click Run this program as administrator. Hit Apply, and we're going to be good to go. So once you've got Red Snow all set up, open it up. I'm going to click, click Yes here. And here we go, so now we have the option. Now, at this point, we're going to need to select our IPSW, so we'll go ahead and click Browse. Um, of course, I have it on my desktop, but like I said, after you do that tutorial, just move it around to your uh, desktop or do whatever you like, and click Next. So it will prepare the jailbreak data for just a moment. I'm going to give it just a minute to patch the kernel. Um, and while it's doing this, I do want to mention one thing. Um, if You need to obviously be on 4.3.2 already. If you're on 4.3.1 or something, this will not update your device. So uh, obviously, there's not really any major reason to update to 4.3.2. But of course, if you want to be on the latest or you accidentally updated or for whatever reason, this tutorial is right here to help you out. OK, so once it's done, there are going to be a few options here. Number one thing, install Cydia. That is the jailbreak app store, definitely what you want to do. Uh, you can ignore custom bundle, not a big deal. Uh, but one thing that you probably will want to enable is allow boot animation. Uh, so what this will do is pre-install it where you can animate, uh, ha install animated boot logos, which is very cool. Uh, if you have an iPod Touch, you can enable battery percentage. I definitely recommend that. And these other two options are really not going to be needed for us. So we can click Next, and now we need to put our device into DFU mode. Now before we enter DFU mode, there is one quick step that we need to do. Now this is not 100% necessary, but I highly recommend it. It is to plug in your device. Uh, now mine is going to be an iPod Touch 4th generation. I'll show you guys. I'm just freshly restored because I was on a previous firmware. You, don't, you guys don't have to restore, but as long as you're on 4.3.2, uh, plug your iPod, iPhone, iPad, whatever it is, into the computer and let iTunes fully sync. Now that will back all your data up all your contacts, all that kind of good stuff, so that after the jailbreak, if anything goes wrong, and hopefully nothing should, but if anything does go wrong, you will be covered, so you won't have any worries. But of course, this should not uh, cause any uh, data loss. This is just a little precautionary measure. So plug your device in, and we need, to uh, we need to shut it off. So just hold the power button for a second, and slide the power off, and give it just a minute. Uh, I'll just sit here with you guys for a second and just make sure that the screen is off. There we go. You see the pinwheel? There we go. So once the screen is totally off, we can continue. So let me drag this over to the side so I can give you guys a little side-by-side -side view here. Um, so what we're going to need to do is hold the power button for about three seconds. We're going to hold the power and the home for ten, release the power, and continue holding the home button until it gets us the all clear. That's, what's, uh, that's the method of going into DFU mode. Very simple. I will walk you through it as well as you can follow the instructions when you jailbreak for yourself using Red Snow. So we're going to click Next and hold the corner for three seconds. Now we're going to go ahead and now hold the home and the power for ten seconds. So 
Uh, hopefully you guys can be able to see there, get this all in the shot. And wait for it, and there we go. We can release the power button and continue holding the home button. So that's 15 seconds, usually takes like five, but just go ahead and continue holding it until Red Snow gives you the all clear. So it's gonna, Windows is gonna pop up, but that's not a big deal. So we just give that a second. All right, so we can let go of that. Uh, for one, some reason, Windows decided to install a driver while we were doing that. Anyway, as you guys can see here, it's uh, going through. It says downloading jailbreak data. So this will take just a few minutes, so just sit back and be patient, and I'll be back as soon as this is all done. All right, so it just finished up. So if we open up our device, everything should look exactly the same. However, if we scroll down to the last page, you guys will now see City installed. Now, if we open this up, it'll just say, yeah, print file system, all that kind of stuff. Actually, it needs to connect to Wi-Fi, but I will do all that later. But anyway, guys, as you guys can see, uh, City is installed. Everything works, and you know you can get all your cool jailbreak mods, themes, tweaks, and all that kind of good stuff on 4.3.2 now. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe. I do lots of other jailbreak-related videos and all just kind of tech stuff in general. So if you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe, and you will be notified with all my new content.